What's up, y'all? This is Ann Glizzy, and it's Bob of Sun TV. And today, we got the Murray and Burry story. If you don't know who Murray and Burry is, that was the greatest bird. I said Murray. Oh, my God. I just feel like I'm high talking about him. That was one of the greatest mayors in D.C. history. Oh, God, black guy, down for the people. I'm talking about down for the struggle. He got caught up in some scandals for some crack cocaine, but cocaine was like, the trending thing to do was like weed back in them days. It just hit. It was like ecstasy, molly, all that when it hit. Like crack is whack now, yeah. But back in them eras, it was cool. And like all the stuff that was going on in this city, you might have needed something at, the, at that time. You might have needed to take the edge off. I'm a crack baby. I'm proud to say it. I'm admitted. Like I ain't. I'm a crack baby. I was born in the crack era. I just had to have a moment of silence for Murray and Burr because this gets deep. All right. Murray and Burr was the greatest mayor ever. He came to D.C., he put us on, like, you just before Trump, EDD, PPP, Murray and Burry gave out summer jobs. All the D.C. kids, he put money in our pocket. We had two, three, four hundred dollars every two weeks. Wasn't about nothing. I realized it. Murray and Burry gave everybody kids enough to buy eight ball. Eight balls was two hundred. Every two weeks, we was getting two hundred. We was getting eight ball money. Murray and Burry, I got my first eight ball on Murray and Burry. I'm telling you, he brought the hood back. Summer jobs hit. We was lit. So boom, Murray and Burry gave the kids summer jobs. He opened up a rock of programs. The city was lit. He wasn't stopping too much crime because like no one stopping crime here that says it's the National Guards. You put a curfew, tell everybody be in at six and like really force them to be in with guns. And if you see them outside, you can harm them or something. But he was into like prostitution. They framed my man because he was like the superhero for all of us. They framed my man. They called my man in the room. Some little prostitutes. He had like a little, it's before back page. He had like a little stripper problem. He liked to mingle, you know what I'm saying? He liked to spend his night and mingle, you know what I'm saying? He liked to do his thing. He liked to get him some little fatasos. He liked to boot up and have fun just before the boot. He liked to do his thing. Off camera, he thinking he off camera. The whole time they were on the sting operation. Catch my man with some prostitutes getting high. Like, who don't, like, who father ain't had no prostitutes get high? What politician don't get high with some prostitutes? It's just like certain people don't get caught. They framed my man. I ain't saying it was racist or nothing because I don't believe in racism. It don't exist in America. It's like it is what it is. Life is what it is. But it's crazy how they did my man Murray. But this to you, Murray and Murray. Shout out to you, man. Like, a real one. I gotta really thank God for you. I went to school, summer school. I used to go to summer school knowing I was gonna make a little bit of money. I'm getting paid to go to summer school. This was a special way about it. Murray and Burry made it so your summer school was your summer job. If you were slow and the bus was gonna pick you up, take you to school, you getting paid to go to school. It's like, he the best that ever did it. I thank him for that. So Murray and Burry, if you're around somewhere, I want to interview Murray and Burry. Is Murray and Burry still alive? Hey, y'all in the comments, can y'all tell me, is Murray and Burry still alive? Because I don't even know. But if he's still alive, I'm trying, I'm trying to interview him. If he ain't alive, this is crazy. This is a crazy comment. This is crazy, y'all. I'm praying Murray and Burry's still alive. But, yeah. It ain't too much I can say. They just had a sting operation. The feds did my man wrong. They bust my man, took him out the chair. And gave it to like a couple of them is they do right now. And this lady got it. Like this lady, the mayor browser. Like I ain't got nothing against her, but like she be giving out nine o'clock curfews for nothing. Corona can be outside. Yeah, nine o'clock curfew. The sniper was outside. We wasn't in the house at nine o'clock. <laughs> like we knew he was gonna kill you. We didn't know what Corona do. I still don't know nobody. I ain't even gonna say that. But this Bowser lady is crazy. Like if I could sit down and talk to Mayor Bowser, like I just wanna have a one on one conversation. Like how you keep on winning? Is it rigged? Like, how you keep on winning? It's like the city declining and everything, and you just keep winning. Oh, that's my fault. I know how you winning. She running against me against Trayon White. Trayon White from Congress Park. I get it. Uh, she running against Trayon White, the comedian from Leprechaun in the Hood, and Jimmy Black. Jimmy Black played basketball down the Goodman down the Farms with real gangsters. Like, this is crazy. I see why she winning. She the only real politician, and it's everybody else, like, just street guys in suits. Hey y'all, can I ask y'all a question? How did this mayor win again? I think she the president. She sucked by him. or whoever make you the mayor. She broke that down. Like she cheated. I nobody voted for that lady. I don't know nobody that voted for that lady. If anybody went down there and voted for Mayor Browser, like y'all stupid as like double like ten kids. Hey bro, I swear to God, since Mayor Browser been the mayor, this has been the most kids been killed.
in Washington, D.C., period. Like, I ain't saying it's her or nothing, but, like, her rules get niggas killed. It ain't no summer schools. It ain't no, I mean, it ain't no side programs. It ain't no recreation. It ain't no little, no little people that come take you out of town. The city ain't got no little they used to have that come to your neighborhood, and they sit in the neighborhood. If just say if kids connection, like a kid or some people, some place come to your neighborhood, they sit in your neighborhood for four hours. That four hours they sit in the neighborhood with the kids. Ain't no violence going on. Ain't nobody shooting. Why no white people out here helping the kids face face pains? Like in real life, ain't nothing for the kids to do but go outside and rob or die. Like it ain't no jobs. Like they can't get no jobs or nothing. Like so they can't get no jobs. They can't make no money. So if they can't make no money. They gotta how they make money in the ghetto. You gotta do illegal to make money. They ain't doing illegal. Cause they want to do a league, they don't leave because that's all they got to do. And y'all voted this the mayor again. Come on, bro. I could have ran for mayor. I should have ran for mayor. There's no way y'all voted this mayor again. Mayor Bowser did kill more kids than any mayor I know. She killed her kids. It ain't nobody. It's her. I ain't, I'm sorry. Let me be quiet for these minutes. Well, it's, mayor, it's, it's the mayor that's doing it. Keep putting everybody outside. Nothing to do. It ain't nothing outside but guns and kids. Guns, kids, and drugs. Like, you don't want to put no programs in between that shit. You don't want to put some some jobs with some stipends. Like, you don't want to just open up a program. If young street kids can come to this program, y'all get on computers, learn some skills, we pay y'all or something, do something. Y'all buying bombs. Y'all real out of government go spend trillions of dollars on bombs. They can just go spend like two, three, four million on a little program for the kids in the in, in, in the city. You know what I'm saying? They go spend trillions on bombs. Like the mayor is somebody. Y'all, she too nasty. Up somebody like that. You know, some white little nigga with a belly button. Y'all know them white little niggas. A white nigga with a belly button somewhere that just be horny. That's the mayor. Like he can't get no black. He don't. Do y'all know black? Yeah, black one black nigga. Like he can't get no. He get one black. And it was the mayor, like it's her. He burned her up. He been her for like ten quarters. Like she been going on the mayor for three consecutive terms. She sucking. The she the belly button white nigga. I'm telling y'all, until she gotta be. On a little white wild nigga, some corn ball that she. I don't know what's up with. Her. It say she gay. Oh, so that's it. It's all right. Listen to me. I don't know who her boss is, but whoever over top of her is another female. They bump. I swear to God, they scissoring. I don't what you say, man. Bowser, this is true. Like y'all, I'm not playing no big TV. All big TV side for ten seconds. Count to ten. Mayor Bowser rigged the election. She did not win. Nobody voted for her. Nobody in these comments voted for her. Nobody on Instagram voted for her. Nobody in the city voted for her. How the f did she win? Like. She didn't win. Nobody voted for her. She had no campaign. She didn't. I don't even think she did a campaign. She, everybody else did campaigns, but people they linked up. People around. She didn't even do a campaign. She knew she was going to win. Like she didn't even stress of loot. Like don't you know when you stress for that first week, you might lose your spot. Like Trump was stressing like <laughs> during the election. She wasn't even stressing. I didn't see no signs of stress on her. She knew she wouldn't leave her office. She didn't even pack her office up. She didn't put a picture down. She did nothing. She just knew she was there. Like it's just guaranteed. She might eat a mean box. But I'm here to tell you, can't no dyke female stop crime in Washington, D.C. or my grandmother. No dyke female can stop crime in Washington, D.C. You need an aggressive ex-street person. Like, a person that grew up in that environment, changed their life, that's aggressive and they can deal with that, but they can still talk to the people respectfully and they can feel like not you one of theirs, but they don't got to feel like they talking to a a mayor or they talking to they feel like you one of us once you feel like you one of us like that we want if you really doing it for the people and you change what we want you will sit there forever it's like she do whatever she want all these kids now i swear to god when mayor murray and burry was mayor i remember murray and burry uh, that was back in like the, the trenches day it wasn't a rack of kids down this mayor just this mayor alone it's a rack of kids i swear it's kids since this mayor I don't know, y'all. Ever since this mayor came, it been a rack of kids down. It ain't nothing for the kids to do, bro. Like, nothing. Not one thing. Like, 
they can go play pop one football, but they age out after that. Why it ain't no programs in the neighborhood no more. It ain't no. When I was young, buses used to pull up. White niggas used to take us out for the weekend and shit. like we do good in school. We gone for the weekend with the with the camp or something. Some it was something like them little five or three days, three days out of seven make life a little bit better. Them might have been the days we was gonna die. We survived that day because we went to camp that day. It's like man, she don't even get. It. I swear to God, she straight don't care. Like I be saying that. Like, all the kids just out here, they 40 yourself. A nigga be 11 years old, 13 years old, died. I be like, how the f a 13 year old died? He's supposed to have been at camp or something. He's supposed to have been in the wreck. The, uh, a 13 year old died outside in the ghetto. Like, the ghetto don't got a recreation center. He might have could have been in the recreation center shooting the basketball. I know at 13, I wouldn't have been outside with the homeboys if we had a recreation center. And I'd probably be in the wreck. <laughs> nigga died at recreation time. Like, he could have been at the wreck. And if you don't want them down direct, put some security guards at direct. Put like some security at direct. Some security, some security that represent them. It ain't got to be no police officers. It can be some, some people. They can sit, man. They can secure their own. Like get some neighborhood security. They don't got no guns or nothing. Just some somebody that want to get paid. Put them on the payroll. Somebody that got a voice in the neighborhood to watch this recreation center and keep it. You know what I'm saying? Keep it like keep everything out direct. We ain't knowing that at direct. Like you know what I'm saying? Like come up with plans for people to win. It's no plans for the kids to win. Nobody got a sheet of paper. With key ideas on it for the kids in the city to win, the mayor don't have that. Like a point, like a, a list. You gotta do this for the kids or nothing. That shit ain't got. It probably ain't got the kids on it at all. It's probably nothing about no kids nowhere. I swear to God. Like it's just like they keep dying. She wanted them to stop dying. She think curfews and shit, bro. You can give a nigga a curfew. Like what the is a curfew going to do? Like you ain't. He, that's how I tell you, you don't understand. You trying to give black kids a curfew. That's like your mother telling you, clean your room. Like when black kids mother tell them clean their room, you think they go straight to their room and clean it. No. So when you give them a curfew, you think like she don't mean that. But when a black person mother say, yeah, you ain't getting your allowance, so go ahead, man. You ain't getting your allowance or so you can't go over that girl house. You got to, you ain't getting your allowance or so you can't go over that girl house. You don't clean your room. Nigga is going up there to clean that room. Nigga going to clean that he gonna go over that girl house and he got a couple dollars to go over that girl house. But you know what drove him to clean the room? He had an incentive. <laughs> it was the same thing. They both, all the mother wanted was the room clean. It just wasn't one had an incentive and one didn't. The incentive would make a black person move faster. I don't know why. But if you're trying to control the black community, you need incentives. You need bribes. I'm not gonna say bribes, but you need something to control these people. <laughs> I need to sit down and talk to the mayor. Like, if I can sit down and just have a one-on-one -on -one real conversation, no bed, like, no, I wouldn't put no child in it. I wouldn't put no bed TV in it, like, a real politician conversation. I let her know some things that can help you. Because, like, her keep winning, mayor. Kids just keep dying. Like, kids keep dying. Kids, the kids outside, all that. They say, all she care about is parking tickets. Yeah, she want money. Like, she had to rake the money in long as... The violence. The violence can be high. If the money outbeat the violence, they ain't tripping. If the violence outbeat the money, that's when it's a problem. The money is outbeating the violence. Niggas get tickets every 10 seconds. <laughs> Tax on everything. Like, everything is a rack of DC. <laughs> like, they DC will give money to somebody else. Or all this is what DC people do. When DC people get the money from the government, they all go to jail for some type of scamming later on. And like every single one of them. Some people they don't check into. They ain't checking in the Murray Bowser. But I know some money missing, bro. All these people that's in control of these funds, bro, money go up missing. So every movement in Washington, DC, they got some money that was a black person ended up the money was gone. Some money was missing something at the end of it. Every single one, every single organization, all the way back to some people used to be on MLK. They used to take all the kids that was beefing and put them together and take them out and play basketball together. Like every single program. I'm running for mayor, y'all. Next I'm going for mayor. Y'all, would y'all vote for me for mayor? Like I'm telling you, Bob is something for mayor, man. I got a slogan too. In this city, we ain't scurry. We do it for Murray and Burry. Bob is something.